parcel freighter to unknown vessel. I haven't earned the Star Parcels fleet's got a load of these aging Deimos monsters. Built like tanks, but well past their warranty. It's gonna take hours to fix this, if we can get the engine back online at all. Star Parcel always puts a bounty on anyone that messes with us. Always. I got a hot package that's paid for expedited delivery. They'll dock my pay if it doesn't get to its destination. Star Parcel will reward you well if you can assist. Ah, excellent. All you need to do is drop this off to the ship services technician on Sidonia. They'll take it from there. Thanks for bailing me out of this nightmare. You're staying safe out there. Welcome to Paradiso. Jiro Sugiyama at your service. Do you have a security concern, or is there something else I can help you with? Ah, yes, of course. I'm glad you came. As you can imagine, we're in a bit of a predicament. Under normal circumstances, we would not enlist outside help in this manner. But this is a matter we can't afford to worry our guests about. As such, we need to handle this discreetly. Failure on your part to do so could have severe consequences. So, before we proceed, can you swear not to discuss this with anyone else unless explicitly directed to do so? Oh, that's quite the claim. If that's the case, I think it would be prudent to go speak with them and find out exactly what they plan to do about it. Whatever you do, it's important to remember to seek diplomacy with who or what ever's on board. As soon as you have any more information, report to Oliver Campbell. He's the CEO of Paradiso. All formal decisions will need to go through him, and he'll have your pay. Good luck.
human. It's just that we weren't expecting to find life, let alone human life out here. We thought we were the only ones to leave Earth. Perhaps we should greet our guests. Of course. Manners. I'm Captain Diana Brackenridge. This is Security Officer Bomani Reader. Hmm. And this is Dr. Mabuti da Costa, one of our elders. A pleasure to meet you. I see. As you may have presumed, we're in a bit of a bind. Our ship has finally completed its near 200-year journey from Earth, only to find our new home seemingly colonized by... well, we don't know. Communications haven't been successful, so your arrival is fortuitous. Perhaps you'd be willing to act as a middle person between ourselves and... the others. Oh yes, of course. Where are my manners? Now then, please follow me. There's much to discuss first. We'll speak more on the matter once we reach the bridge. Dr. DaCosta, you may return to your quarters if you wish. Thank you, Captain. I will follow you to the bridge, ma'am. For security purposes. We were never trained to address I do not believe we have need to fear our guests, but our I'll allow it if you insist. We've got strict rules around here. Welcome but they're strict the for a reason. Ship constant. In the early 2100s, my ancestor, Brackenridge, researched a number of scientific scenarios. Climate change, asteroid impact, nuclear war, global pandemic, and more. Each scenario showed the likelihood of an extinction level event to be within 50 years. He fully the constant is a peaceful ship. Rendered uninhabitable. Don't change We've that. always assumed that's what happened. So, he gathered the best and brightest he could find, built the constant, and set a course for this planet here. We were told that it was the largest, most advanced ship ever constructed on Earth at the time. Never seen a ship. If you like can yours believe, before. entire generations then again, have been born, I seen it lived, ships. and died on this ship. It really goes to show that there are no limits to human ingenuity and perseverance. Careful waving that fancy gun around. We don't need to see what it can do. Just stay out of trouble. So, here we are. Let's talk. No matter the outcome, I won't let my crew down. Well, as I mentioned, we've been unsuccessful in communications with anyone up until you arrived, though not for lack of trying. But since you're asking, maybe you'd be willing to be a sort of diplomat between us and them as we attempt to resolve our situation. Does that sound agreeable to you? Ah, so they're called Paradiso. Interesting. Anyway, it's not important whether we like the potential results right now. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. For now, let's focus on the issue at hand. You see, we intended to settle here. But we assume that they intend to defend their claim, given their presence here. We'd like you to go speak to them on our behalf and help us negotiate a solution. Preferably one that favors us. Excellent. Make no mistake, this is our planet and we intend for them to see this our way. So, speak with their leadership and see if you can negotiate a solution on our behalf. Preferably, get them to see things our way. Report back to me and let me know what they say, and we'll go from there. Thank you, and Godspeed. Now that we know what's out there, things are Because our equipment's old, doesn't mean it won't work.
It may be paradise, but that doesn't mean we don't run into trouble from time to time. Your safety is our number one priority. It's beautiful out there, isn't it? We've got some of the best private security in the settled systems. It's lovely here. Hey there. Hi there. I'm not much of a beach person, but everyone talks about this place. So I had to see you. Something I can help you with? Ah, oh, it has a name. Good. Then you're already familiar with the situation, I take it. Do you know what they want? Interesting. We obviously have no records of a colony ship claiming this planet. Whatever the case, you'll need to speak with Oliver Campbell. A CEO for the Paradiso Group. He's in charge of bringing all formal decisions before the board and helping to make calls on them. I'll let him know you're on your way. think we'd be a prime target for pirates, but they know to stay away from the most part. Don't worry about us. We're just here to keep... Peace. Hey, excuse me. You can't just waltz in there. Do you have an appointment? Oh, you're the one they're waiting for, then. Do you need anything else from me before you meet with the board? Sure. Have fun in the shark tank. And don't worry, even they call it that. I just feel that we should be focusing on the natural... If it's not important, bring it up with... I am. And you must be the... diplomat Jiro told me about. Welcome, welcome. Normally I'd offer you an all-inclusive stay at our resort before we spoke. But given these circumstances, I'm gonna cut to the chase. We've got our friends, the aliens, up there causing all sorts of problems for our resort. You like that? The marketing team came up with it. The thought is, if we can't get rid of them, it might actually attract more tourism. Come see the aliens! <laughs> Despicable? Hardly. Just a Beckett plan, in case we can't get them to leave. But you're right. No one's gonna buy aliens. Remind me to fire the marketing team. So, tell me, what's the actual deal with this massive eyesore of a ship? Besides scaring people away. Well, that's something. Shame we can't just tell them kindly to bugger off. Something tells me that's not gonna work. Now, tell me. 
What are we going to do about it? Give me some proposals, people. I need something to work with here. Hmm. We could offer to resettle them here. There's more than enough space. They could stay here. Temporarily. But it'll cost them. Quite a bit, too. They'd need to work off all their debts before being allowed to leave. Ah, uh, maybe not. What if we help them get out of here? Outfit their ship with a grab drive so they can find a new home. We could even lend our engineers to help and give their captain an updated star map. What do you think? Sounds costly. We can't absorb that cost, and it's unlikely they even have compatible currency, let alone enough for the transaction. Someone else would have to foot the bill. Oh, I swear this would be a lot easier if they ceased to exist entirely. Anyway, Seema's got the right idea. Either works for me. Just tell me what you want to do. And which proposal will you be taking to the good captain? I assume there's a captain? Right. Assuming they agree to the terms, I've got a list of resources you'll need to gather and bring back so we can support the new arrivals. We'll need to improve our lodging and infrastructure, plus account for future projects to support an increased population. Don't care how you procure them, just make sure to bring them here with you before we can consider this a done deal. Right. On behalf of the Paradiso Group, we appreciate your help. There are millions of planets out there. People can go to any one of them. The resort facilities are... Hope you're staying safe out there. No major incidents in a while. Let's hope it stays that way. Hello. We try to stay out of our guests' way, but we're always the earpeat. Yet another nice day in Paradiso. Feral. Stem is a peaceful ship. Don't change. Never seen a ship like yours before. Then again, I haven't seen any ships before. We were never trained to address threats coming from outside our ship. We didn't believe anyone would be out here, but I'm glad for it. Now that you're here, I can finally give my crew a chance at a new life. What's the good word? That doesn't sound so bad. My crew will need to get used to working for a living anyway. This seems... agreeable. 
Is that all? If we had more to spare, we'd assist you with that. I promise you that we appreciate your efforts and will find some way to repay your kindness. Thank you. Don't forget to tell of us in your travels. We didn't believe anyone would be out here, but I'm glad for it. Excellent. I'll have them stowed away for safekeeping. We'll bring them with us when we touch down on the surface. Is that everything now? Are we ready to head planet side? Oh, right -o. Oh, this is truly wonderful. I'll make an announcement to the crew straight away. If you would be so kind, we lost our landing shuttle years ago, so we'll need a ride down to the surface. Not all of us, mind you, just myself and a select few others. Will you do this for us? Splendid. Oh, we'll see you on your ship then. Just stay out of trouble. Just because our equipment's old doesn't mean it won't work. We've got strict rules around here, but they're strict for a reason. Wow, I feel honored to be among the first to step foot in our new home. Esteemed guests, thank you for once thank again, again choosing for making Paradiso this all for your possible. vacation destination. Just think, if you hadn't had the courage to approach us when no one else would, we, we might still be stuck up there. Once again, thank you for your kindness and generosity. Your name will go down in our history books. You will always be welcome as a friend to our people. I hope there is still a significant security role for me in our new life.
work done? You should inspect your ship for heat leeches every couple landings. They'll cause plenty of havoc if left unchecked. You the courier? I've been expecting you. Star Parcel has your payment right here. Anything else you need? Nothing for us to do. You're in good flying condition. <laughs>